Welcome back. We are here looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. And uh, this is our daily uh, forecast for uh, 23rd of September 2020. And uh, I did a previous video on FANG stocks, and the FANG stocks are, are rallying today. And that basically means that uh, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq is also doing quite well. We can see here the three fang stock, Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook, and we also have Netflix. Uh, Netflix is uh, in negative at the moment, uh, but uh, we also have a Microsoft, which is doing really well. However, Tesla is doing really, really badly. So we can look at the biggest, um, the ones that are doing the biggest gains today. We have here Syntax and we, Syntas, sorry. We have Amazon, and uh, the biggest um, decline on the market at the moment is uh, Tesla, uh, and we also have advanced uh, micro devices and so on. But uh, we are going to look at the index as a whole, and uh, if you want to see the video of the Fang stock, I just uploaded it a few minutes ago. So we have the S&P 500. So as you can see, uh, we had uh, quite a big uh, breakdown yesterday and we also had a bounce. We had a bounce at uh, 3,231 and today we are trading at 3,297. So some, it may well be this was the bottom, perhaps. This was a previous significant support yeah, in this area here, but I do expect it us to go all the way down to the 100 moving average, which is around 3,194. Um, however, we still have, we are still uh, trading underneath the 50 moving average. So we may see a bounce to the 50 moving average and then go lower. If that were the case, then we are basically creating uh, lower lows, uh, which is not a very good sign. That means that we still have uh, quite a lot of downside to go. And if we look at the weekly sarcastic, we can see that this is not looking very good. We This is basically indicating that we will go uh, much lower. Um, this probably is just a pullback. Uh, this is just a bounce and then we'll have another major pullback. We are not oversold at the moment, uh, but uh, MACD is uh, in the negative area here, uh, indicating that uh, we are probably going much lower. Uh, but we did have four trading days of really negative uh, price action. So it is expected to have a few, probably three days similar to this, when you have this massive decline, then you have like three days where you go up and up and you get close to the 50 moving average and then go further down. Uh, this market got away ahead of itself. Uh, there's no reason why this market should go um, increase this uh, fast from the lows because the world economy is, is really terrible at the moment and the United States economy is also really terrible. So probably the next three trading days, uh, we'll see this market get close to the 50 moving average. If we were to break the 50 moving average and the other moving averages here and trade above that, then we will go and test this area here at 3,400 before going uh, to the all time highs. So we look at the Dow Jones. We can see we almost got to this area here, which is the 300 moving average. We did bottom at uh, 26,742, and then we uh, we today rallied, but we have gained, uh, we have given about, uh, back a lot of the gains. We do not see the same amount of volatility as we have seen on on uh, the last two trading session. On, the, on Friday and on Monday, but the technical indicators are not looking very good for the Dow Jones. If we look at the MACD, we are, it's really far apart from the signal line. It's not indicating that we will go up anytime soon. 
we're not overbought, so we'll probably go uh, lower from here, uh, probably go underneath the, the 30 level. Um, if we do that, when we basically had this massive breakdown here, we went all the way down to 12, but we don't see the same um, panic selling as we did uh, only a few months ago. So we'll probably have a gradual decline when we get close to the 200, 300 moving average, we'll probably have a bounce and then go a little bit lower. The weekly stochastic is still showing that we are uh, in negative. Um, the prices will uh, most likely get more negative. And at the bottom, we are at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. So similar to the uh, S&P 500, we'll probably have one or two days where we get close to the, uh, the 50 moving average before going lower from here. So the NASDAQ, we uh, did rally in late last uh, day's session and today we are trying to get close to the 50 moving average but we haven't gotten there yet. And this is all due to the, uh, to the FANG stocks basically rallying the day. So we have Facebook, we have Apple, we have Google, Amazon also. We have uh, Apple rallying today. So um, yes, this is expected because we had three days of basically uh, of sell-offs. So we'll probably, we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. So we, we will have to wait. If we manage to break the 50 moving average and trade above there, then we'll go higher. But the technical indicators are showing that we are going to go lower. We are oversold at this point. We we'll probably go a little bit higher get probably to 50 and then go further down. Um, we are still quite far away from the signal line in the, in the MACD and also the stochastic is pointing for downwards momentum. Um, so we'll probably have uh, one or two more trading days where trading green, get close to the 15 moving average. If we don't manage to break the 15 moving average, that means that we will go lower from here. So, hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button, clicking the bell button, and the, the, uh, the like button. And uh, good luck and uh, happy trading.